extend the throttle to see what will happen. Now you realize when I push the throttle, the light keeps rotating nicely. So that's the correct sequence there. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of my channel. Today, I'll be testing this e-bike controller with the e-bike tester. So this is the e-bike tester I'm talking about now. This e-bike tester can also be used for electric scooters. And it makes testing their components very easy. Now you can see there are lots of lights here, but each light indicates a special function. Now this section here is for the main controller line. So this alligator clips here when you connect it to the main controller line that's the face lines this light is supposed to come on and move in the face sequence now this section here is for the controller's hall sensor so when you connect the hall sensor these lights are supposed to work now this portion here is for testing an e-bike hub motor any voltage any wattage so you connect this section here to the hall sensor and this alligator clips here to the main motor lines and so with this one also this section is for the main motor coil so when you rotate the coil these lights are supposed to come on and this slides here is also for the hall sensor so when you rotate the motor and the hall sensor is working perfectly these lights are supposed to turn off and now when you turn the e-bike tester on, this light here indicates that the tester is on. Now this light here is for testing the e-bike throttle. So when you want to test the e-bike throttle, you use this section here to test the e-bike throttle. And now when you connect the controller and you activate the controller, this light here is supposed to turn on, meaning the controller has been powered on. But when it's off means there's an issue with the controller it's not being able to activate so let's proceed so i'll be testing the controller and the throttle for now and maybe on my next video i'll test the hub motor for you to see how this tester works so let me connect the controller with the tester then you see how it works so now i have control i have sorry i've connected the controller to the E bike tester now you can see now this is the main face lines of the controller so i've connected it color to color so yellow to yellow green to green blue to blue so that's the correct sequence now since the controller is not activated that's why the red light hasn't come on and by the way this white box you see here is an indicator or is a meter i use to check the voltage and current when carrying out tests like this so don't worry about that so now that the controller is activated you can see the red light coming on meaning this controller is working perfectly now let's turn the throttle to see what will happen now you realize when i push the throttle the light keeps rotating nicely so that's the correct sequence there e-bike controller is supposed to work in so this means that the controller is working perfectly so now let's go ahead and test the e-bike throttle with the same tester so now these are the lines of the throttle so the red the green and the black so we'll connect it accordingly to the alligator clip so red to red green to green and then the black black now let's turn the tester on and the tester is on now this particular light here is for the throttle so when i turn the throttle you realize the light comes on so that's how the throttle works so when you turn it very slowly you realize the light comes on very dim and it brightens up and it brightens up 
So when your throttle is damaged, as soon as you connect the throttle, you realize the light comes from the same as this. And so this is how you use this e-bike tester to test the controller and the throttle. So on my next video, I'll be using this same tester to test an e-bike hub motor. So stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So anytime I post new videos, you'll be able to see on time. That's all today. See you on my next video. Bye.